Allison Barnes, Bureau of Land Management. That's correct. And you're here for Earth Day 2012, and you're with the BLM. I am, and I'm excited to be here. We're representing the Buffalo Field Office, just south of Sheridan, but we're here to discuss bird watching opportunities on public lands at the Welch Ranch, just north of Sheridan here. I like birds. You do? Me too. Yeah. Do you want to see where you measure up on our wingspan chart? We could find out what kind of bird you are today, if you like, if you have time. <laughs> well, after the interview, we'll go over and measure That's my right. wing. It's a raptor chart, right? It is. Well, you might be a turkey vulture. You look in the six-foot range. <laughs> well, I've been called a lot of things, but lately, that's probably the nicest. Good. I'm glad yeah. I could help. So tell us, you've got children coming by and adults coming by to learn. You're here to do, at Earth Day to do some education. What are the kinds of things that you're teaching? Well, we're trying to promote bird watching opportunities uh, because the spring migration is coming through. Our migratory birds are coming north, you know, so that they can come up and uh, nest here along the riparian areas that we've got here in Sheridan County in the month of May. And uh, the BLM acquired a parcel north of Sheridan, about 10 minutes north, called the Welch Ranch. It's got a beautiful mile-and-a-half section of the Tongue River. It's a great place to go and take your family and do some bird watching. On a given day in May, you might see 30 or 35 species. So we want wow. to make sure folks are aware that they've got just an incredible opportunity right up the road. See, and I'm so glad you're here and we have this opportunity to visit because I'd heard about the BLM and the Welch property, and, I, you know, it's kind of there in the back of my head, but I didn't know specifically what it's all about. So this is really an exciting opportunity career-wise for you, too. Yes, yes, it is. Um, International Migratory Bird Day is something that the BLM has participated in. It's usually hosted on the second Saturday in May. Uh, because the conditions in Wyoming can vary so greatly, we could have a beautiful day in the second week in May, or we could have a not-so-lovely day. And we've been rained and snowed out of a couple of our past events. So this year we're actually going to focus on more of, of a user-led experience instead of an official guided hike. We're going to be putting up a story walk at, uh, at Welch so that families can go and enjoy reading a story about birds as they walk along the trail system there um, at their leisure. It's not going to be at a set time. We'll have it up for the entire month of June. Um, that, sounds, that sounds wonderful. My wife just got a new camera with a telephoto lens, so, oh, yeah. so you, can, you can help us find birds so she can sure. prove her, her photographic prowess. Well, it's sure not difficult to locate them at Welch. We've got a uh, great horned owl nest for sure. Uh, we had a golden eagle pair that successfully raised young last year, and I expect them to return. Wow. And then we have an osprey nest. I'm not sure if it's active this year yet or not. I did not see birds last time I was there, but it's possible they could come back. So got some resident birds, and then we've got quite a few migrants that come through. So now somebody who wants to know more about uh, your programs and, and learn more or maybe arrange to come out, where, where should they go for more information? Well, we do have a website. Um, it's a very long address, so I won't give it in this interview, but uh, the B BLM.gov, you can navigate to Wyoming into the Buffalo Field Office, and we've got a recreation webpage. Um, they can also call our office directly and ask for me or a wildlife biologist on staff. Allison Barnes. Allison Barnes. Um, our number is 307-684-1100, so 684-1100 is a pretty easy number to remember if you want to get and some then if And then you can write down the uh, webpage address, the very long one, I can. and then we'll put it on the bottom of the screen so that people... Oh, that would be great. Yeah. See, because, you know, the way people watch TV nowadays is they're watching the TV and they have their laptop open. That's right. So we'll put the, the address right there, and if it's too long, we'll put it in two lower thirds, and then they can type and go to it while you're talking about it. So now, Allison, here's the really big question. Can you do bird calls? Um, I could sure try. Which okay. What would you like to hear? Well, what's your favorite? Well... Uh, probably my favorite to hear would be the loon. I'm not sure if I could pull that one off, but I could try a turkey. And we have turkeys at Welch. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> we better be careful. You'll attract a hunter with that. It's true. I might. I don't know. But you know, if you're, if you're going to be in the bird business, you got to know how to do the calls, yeah, right? I better wear some safety orange yeah. if I try that one out in the field. <laughs> Well, listen, Allison, thanks so much for being here at Sheridan's Earth Day 2012. Thank you for having us. How tall you are? 5'10". Are you going to be great one, Karen? Or turkey vulture. Okay. So you're going to have some natural fingertips on. Let's start with a great one, Karen. Okay. And then there. spread them wide. Okay. Oh, man. Down this way. Your one wing's a little bit. Your one wing's a little bit.
Oh, do some yoga. Okay. Do some oh, yoga. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, you, okay. I think we're going to carry it here a little bit longer. Let's try the turkey, turkey vulture. Okay, where's that at? So let's line up right here. Okay. All right. Uh, a little bit stretch, stretch out a little bit more. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Right. Okay. Think he's over. What do you think, nurse? I think it's probably close to a turkey vulture. Turkey vulture. Turkey vulture. Turkey vulture it is. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say he was a turkey vulture? Turkey. I called him a turkey vulture.